Avondale train station on May the 1989. Last of the all trains that are lining up. We go Avondale train station. the wash car. Don't know what that really is. Could have been loose. And then here is the train station at Avondale. Stay in the community as part of the new historic site. Juanita Barry has that story. There hasn't been as much activity at this railway station in Avondale since it closed down eight years ago. Today, Tiro Transport officials and the RCMP gathered at the site when members of a local heritage group parked this vehicle across the track to stop workers from pulling up the railway ties. These people say they were promised by Tiro Transport officials that six miles of railway track would stay in the community as part of a National Historic Railway site that was started here last year. The president of the group says the railway project holds a special meaning for residents here. Avondale grew up around the fishery and the railway track. And practically every family in Avondale has a member who's worked on the railway. And you know how they built the roads back in those days through blood, sweat, and tears. So I think Avondale is the Newfoundlanders in general are really foolish to see our tracks being taken off and given away. But apart from maintaining heritage, the mayor of Avondale says the railway tracks, together with this locomotive and the train station, could become big business for the community. We're hoping to uh, do the station inside, you know, restore the ticket office and the waiting office. And if we do the grounds up out here and have a, a craft shop or whatever we can track, maybe it'll be a restaurant, I don't know what it'll be, but it'll, it, if we could get a, some kind of reprieve on, on this track, I think in a, in a year from now it would make a, a substantial difference here. Officials with Tira Transport wouldn't comment on whether they were in fact going back on an earlier decision to leave the tracks in the community. But they did agree to meet with the demonstrators to discuss the matter. In a private meeting that lasted almost an hour, residents were told the matter was out of Tira Transport's hands.